Hi there. Uh, my name is Brenda Bailey and I'm your instructor for the 0900 math class this summer. And I thought I would um, share with you a few things on how to get started. Now, where I'm at right now, if you look at my screen, is um, I'm in Canvas. And so if you were to go to your um, your hub, and then if you were to do Canvas, let's see if it'll let me, since I'm already in, I'll see if it will let me um, load that. It's, my computer's been kind of slow today. But if you go to Canvas, you should be able to see um, Oh, it's not going to let me. So I don't want to waste a lot of time. Let me try one more time. If it doesn't load, we'll move on. But if you go to Canvas and you cl click on Canvas, and then there's going to be um, your class for this one. It's got a calculator on it. You click that, and that's where I wanted you to be right now. So here, and that's where I'm at. All right, so if you have trouble with that, just let me know. Okay, here we have, you'll have something similar to this. These are, all of these are drop down boxes. I kind of put that here and this is getting started. And what you would do is if this is a drop down and I've got a couple of things here. First off, I have a video for my syllabus and I explained a few things about expectations in the class, how I do my grading, uh, the, uh, the tentative course outline things we'll be covering and then also here i have um, a copy of the syllabus for you to look at if you click here you'll get the syllabus if you click here there's a video on um, explanation of the syllabus of the syllabus for the class here's some academic policies that they just you know wanted you to be aware of this is from the administration and academic student information. So that's going that's in this first drop down box. Okay? So, you know, when you when you get here you could you can look at these these two here just so they have a basic understanding of the class. This one right here, this welcome to class. This right here is the video for registering with Pearson and that's the only require, required purchase for the class. You don't need a book. For, um, for this class, if you want to purchase one, go ahead. Some people like the paper and pencil. Otherwise, you can just use Pearson. And I talk about, you know, maybe some ways of purchasing Pearson um, in this video. And there, there, are, there are about three options for you. One's a little bit cheaper. And that's if you buy it through Pearson itself. Well, that's what that talks about here. And this right here, if you click on the student registration, I'll just go ahead and click on that right now. No, hopefully my computer's gonna cooperate. Come on. Ah. And let's see, it's really slow. Well, anyways, again, I don't wanna waste your time, but here, just click on this and that's actually, um, uh, a, a PDF that explains the registration process. And I explain that here in this video, if you were to click on this video. So whenever you're um, in any of these drop downs and you have a video, if you click on it, it gets you right to my YouTube channel that talks about this exact topic. All righty. Um, and then here, I might split this. I haven't decided. I might just do one on uh, how to use Canvas in this class, and then another one on how to use Pearson. We'll see. I, you know, I just don't want it to be too long. Try to keep them kind of, these videos kind of short. But they, these these videos are well worth watching. You know, for one thing, you have to register with Pearson. Uh, I, I can't remember what it what it is. Hundred dollars, something like that. And that is re required. That's where you find all of your homework, all of your tests. Um, your grades will be there in Pearson. So it's something that you, you have to have. And then um, and then again, this, this is kind of nice just to see how you navigate Pearson with this class and how you navigate Canvas in this class. And then once you've gone through here and you've registered with Pearson and you have your account and you're ready to go, this next, I'm going to 
unclick that one. All right, this next one deals with um, this next module that you'll have uh, deals with the first two chapters. This is the first two weeks worth of homework. And you're thinking, oh my goodness, this is really a lot. But the, a lot of these homework assignments are less than a half an hour long. And, you know, and if you are spending an hour or so on them, you might want to contact me. And I'll, I'll talk about that in the Pearson video. But what we have here is as at the beginning, we have week one and two. And as you'll notice, if I scroll down here, week three. But what you do is when you here, let me click this one down. You have information for week three. You would click that. And I would tell you just a few instructions for the week. You know, this is what you need to do. Um, if if something went wrong in one of the videos, I can tell you, you know, then that, you know, watch out for this in the video. Um, but it is important. So here, let's just click on this first week here. Oh, really? Oh, it may not let me. It may not let me. I may have to redo this whole thing. This information for week one, click on it. All right. Well, I don't know if it's my internet or if it's the school, it's the server, it's hard telling. Well, if you click on this, information for week one, you get a little page thing and it kind of, it's a little blurb on, on the week and what to expect for the week. If you look at this Pearson orientation right here, this is your first assignment. Now this assignment is due June 15th. And it has to be done because the administration wants me to know if you're coming to class or not. And this assignment tells me if you're coming to class. So you need to get Pearson orientation assignment done. And when you click on this, it will take you to uh, a link to get you to Pearson. This right here, how to install responses for exams. This needs to be done before your first exam is I use a lockdown browser for the tests and you have to install Respondus. Now, here's the catch. Respondus does not work with Chrome or phones. So if you plan on taking your test on a Chromebook, you need to find another option because it will not work with Chrome. And I explain that also in how to install Respondus for exams. So just, you know, just kind of be aware of that. In two weeks, you'll be taking an exam after the first two weeks, and you'll need to have uh, Respondus downloaded to your computer. So I would do, this is an optional practice test. So again, it says optional. I would get it done as soon as you can so that you know if you can get Respondus downloaded. And if not, get some help, either from myself or from Pearson. Now here, you'll see a video for the, a lesson. You do not have to watch these videos. Then you can click the homework. If you can do the home, you might want to try the homework. And if you can't get it or you're confused, you can come back to my videos. And this takes you to my YouTube channel right here. And I'll explain a little bit to, uh, about this more in um, when I do the uh, uh, canvas on how to use canvas and hopefully my computer will be working well. Well, I just wanted you to see these drop down boxes and I am also going to try to open up almost everything early because I know summers can be crazy and people get busy, they have events to go to and um, that way you can kind of plan accordingly. All right, well, good luck and here, another important thing is that when you look at the syllabus, I click on it, but it's not going to do any good, obviously. But if you, um, since the computer's so slow, but it's got my contact information as well as the home page for uh, Pearson. I'm going to click the home page over here. Your, yours is going to look a little bit different. I, I, we're in my instructor view, so you won't have a lot of these things over here, but it's not even letting me go back. All right. Well, I just wanted to get this out, let you know you don't need to buy a book. And the only thing you need to purchase is the Pearson um, uh, access. And 
that can be done soon. So, all right. Thank you. All right. Bye-bye.